Well, Luke, there's a sort of deja vu to this, really. You, you scored four goals, and, and you've got a couple of them. What, what an extraordinary seven days it's been for you. Yeah, it's been unbelievable. If you'd have told me uh, two weeks back that I'd have got four in uh, two games, I'd have, I'd have said to get out of it. But uh, obviously, I'm delighted, and uh, I'm on top of the world at the minute with the two goals in both games, and obviously delighted with the win, coming back the character that we showed, coming back from 1-0 um, down. Obviously, we're delighted with the, the result in the end. I'll tell you one thing I really enjoyed about your goals is that you still look very surprised. <laughs> Even after the last one, you looked utterly shocked as if you didn't know where to run or anything. Yeah, that's right. I said, I've just been saying to Silky, I'm going to have to sort a celebration out if I'm going to score anymore because I, I score and I don't know where I'm going. So, uh, but obviously, I, I said today I've done the swallow dive and ripped, ripped a burn on my hip, so I don't think I'll be doing that one again. <laughs> What, what's changed? What, what's happened in the last week? Have you started doing things differently or, or anything or what? What's happened? I don't know really. I think obviously when you get the first one it gives you the confidence to, to really get on the end of everything and attack things. But I think we've been on the move lately more in the box and um, the delivery has been perfect for in the last two games. And I think um, any half a chance and, and not just for myself but there's a number of players in there now that are causing problems for Marcus so it gives you a if you can get a yard on your marker, you've got a chance. Is Ryan Williams aiming for you a bit more now? Perhaps that's it as well. I'm not sure, to be honest, but um, he's hit some great sweet balls in. And obviously, if you know that it's going to get in a certain area, then you can you can go and attack it every time. It's extraordinary because we, we talked last week about how you could have had four in the first half. Oh, last week, you could have had more today as well. Yeah, that's right. I Patrick's mean, just around the corner. Yeah, I hope so, yeah. I saw, uh, I mean, the keeper pulled off a great save just before. And I thought that was, when I hadn't scored, I thought that was my chance for another goal today. And and obviously getting the two after, uh, it's unbelievable and I can't believe it to be honest. So it's four in two for you, it's eight in, in two for the team, I mean that's, that's terrific and back to back victories as well for the first time in, 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 since October, I mean that's uh, it's such an important result in that sense as well isn't it? Yeah definitely, we're delighted with it like you say, um, just before these two games we, we maybe struggled to, to put the ball away and so um, obviously with the great return of goals we've had lately, we, we, we're really pleased with it and, and we look a threat every time that we, we go forward now and I think even in the first half, although we were one 0 down. I think we were the better team, and, and although we didn't get any clear cut chances, second half I felt that once we um, the first ten minutes the tempo we set, there was only going to be one winner in the game. So now you go to Wrexham, surely in such confidence. I mean, they're obviously struggling, big club still, and obviously going to pose a threat. But you go go there on the back of successive wins and fancy your chances, won't you? Well, obviously, I mean, I've just talked to Tony, and I said they're a bit of a sleeping giant, Wrexham, if you will. They've, they've come into a little bit of form lately. They, they can be a hit and miss, but it's a team that we're going to have to be on a metal against because when they when they play well they're, they're uh, as good as anybody and I think that's that happens a lot in this league so we've got to be on the metal hopefully we don't we don't go down 1-0 because it, it sometimes gives you a mountain to climb away from home and we'll be hoping that we can continue in, in the vein of form that we have goal scoring wise maybe you'll get that elusive hat trick <laughs> I'm desperate for it now especially with Steve-O telling me that uh, not a Mansfield defender hasn't scored an hat trick before so uh, I'm desperate for that but we'll see how it goes <laughs> great thanks a lot goal away from home it was an extraordinary Return, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But I mean, they're, they're not brilliant at the back. We knew um, where their weaknesses were, so we, we knew that we had to put the ball. It wasn't pretty at times, but we knew we had to put balls in into the box, get some turns, corners, which we did, uh, and we got them. Was successful from them. Yeah. How a bigger a factor is that in this league? You obviously know this league and, and Mansfield today and last week particularly being successful from corners, free kicks, the long throwing from John Chandler as well into the box, and it's really paid off, hasn't it, the last two weeks? Yeah, it has. But it's not just about you know the last two weeks set pieces especially in this league is massive if you can be tight at the back and not give any away which we're disappointed with, with the one we conceded but obviously you know uh, we make sure we cut that out for you know for games in the future but you know set pieces is massive if you can get goals from set pieces uh, it makes a, you know it's you're halfway there how have you found the last couple of weeks then of settling in you've had a, it's not a bad start is it really a 4-0 win at home and a 4-1 win away yeah it's been a, a, a fantastic start I couldn't wish for anything better really um, but got to push on we've got a ma massive probably the next six or seven games especially um, you know the whole of February and you'll, you, we've just got to pick make sure we win as home games and pick as many points up, you know, on the road as we can um, so that, if that means being you know playing a bit ugly you know and just uh, just turning them you know it's not got to be pretty as long as we get the points that's, that's all that matters Is it tough being made captain when you've just come in you're kind of a, a new person into the squad and then you've got to wear the armband and kind of you know boss people around already or are you alright with that? No I, I like that you know I, I, you know, I was uh, excited at the prospect of being captain uh, I, was, I was thrilled that they asked me to you know, he asked me it was an honour, uh, and hopefully I can keep that armband. You know, but you know that, that's what I'm about. You know, if I need to organise and tell someone, it's nothing personal. You know, but just you know, I want to do what's best by the team. So I need to give. Some
give someone a bit of a rollicking after 10 minutes and that's what, you know, that's what they need and that's what they need and that, that's, 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 the way, that's the way it is. Yeah, I mean, the manager said that he intends to keep you on as the captain. I mean, it's a, it's a real privilege for you, isn't it? Like I say, having just arrived into the club and then go, right, that's a great show of confidence in you early on. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, obviously, it's a, it's a lot of pressure as well, but I thrive off pressure and that's, uh, it's a good position for me to be in. And I, like I said, eight goals in, in two games and two great wins. I couldn't get off to a better start. We've just got to maintain that now. Yeah, and it's Wrexham away, of course, on, on Tuesday night. A, a big club, but struggling at the moment. And you go there, surely great confidence given the last two results. Yeah, great confidence, but like today, I've uh, got to be careful because you know we know that, that like, like Forest Green today um, can be dangerous. Um, and like Wrexham, we've got to go there you know, and give them the respect that they deserve. They're a big club. You know, they're not doing brilliantly, but they've got enough players and enough about them to, to, to pick enough points up and maybe even get in the playoffs because it's, you know, the, club, the type of club they are and players have got. So we've got to go there you know, with, um, with a lot of concentration, a lot of focus. But like you said, great confidence after the last two wins. There's no reason why we can't go there and get another three points. Yeah, it was great stuff today. We'll play it again. Thanks very much. Cheers, man. Thank you. John, congratulations. 4-1 away from home. Extraordinary scoreline, especially given the way it was at half-time. Oh, definitely. I mean, but we, we know in our squad that we can, you know, we can, we've got that in the locker. You know, we don't let our heads drop. Uh, we knew we've got the players in the squad that can come back and just keep on going. And today's proved the case. It was such a scrappy start to the second half. That first 10 minutes was really, really messy. But then it just seemed to turn around. And after that, it really felt like a goal was coming, think, didn't it? I think that's what you need. You need to get in, you know, the opposing team's faces. You know, you need that bit of, you know, grit and determination to, to come out the other end and start playing football. You know, and that's what we've got to do. If we've got to do that, you know, on Tuesday or in other games, then we've got the players and the capability to do that. So much of it from set pieces, of course, this week and last, and so much from your throwing as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's discipline for myself just to see one come off. You know, I've had plenty of games where I've put four or five in and nothing's come out of it. So to see one go in, you know, I'm delighted. But as I said, it's utilising what we've got in the team. Uh, as you said, if it comes from set pieces, you know, we'll take that. You know, as it's, but it's good to see we score four goals again. If you, when you, you're doing that, are you aiming for somebody in particular? Because, I mean, obviously Luke Jones has been yeah. getting the goals. He's, yeah. he's been up there, there's Rob Duffy. Do you aim for one player in particular well, or an area or what? I think, just put it towards a near stick. You know, we've got great headers in the team. If it's Jonesy, if it's Luke Foster, if it's Duffers, you know, one of them, to be fair, should get on it. You know, so wherever it goes, you've got them three in there. So hopefully, um, you aim for the near stick. You've got three players there and whoever gets on it. It's a great added weapon, isn't it? Because you've got Ryan Williams delivering corners and free kicks in and things. So to have that as an added weapon helps so much. Exactly. I mean, it gives other teams to think about things. You know, you've got the set pieces, you said, with Ryan Williams. Um, a long throw in. You know, you never know what happens. You see that it happens in the Premier League at the top level. You know, so if we can get goals from that, then we'll take that. You know, but ultimately, goals count. And that's what we need, in, in, in obviously, on Tuesday as well. How's it been for you? Because it was a start today, of course. You've not had um, a million of those lately, have you? So how pleasing was it to get that and how frustrated has it been to not be? It's, you know, every player wants to play every game, you know, but we've just got to keep on going. You know, the gaffer's got a uh, squad in abundance. He's got quality in the squad and, you know, he can change, team, change the team around and, you know, it doesn't weaken the team. So, you know, but ultimately, as I said, everyone wants to play, but I'm glad to have got the chance today. I suppose the more goals you get from your throw-ins, the more <laughs> difficult know, decision you know, he makes. Exactly, you know, you never know, you know, but as I said, we just... We just got to keep plugging away. You know, we've got aspects of the t in the team that can, you know, score goals, and we just got to utilise it. We're talking about this earlier about the importance of uh, of set pieces in this division in particular and scoring yeah. goals from them. You scored plenty this week yeah. and last, and that's a key aspect in this division. Isn't I it? think it is. You know, everyone battles about set pieces when you games. You know, whatever level. You know, and I said, as if we get you know more and more. You know, we'll take that, but people might, it's hard to defend against. You know, the more set piece you get, you know, grind the teams down, and you know, the more we get, we know we're going to score. How much do you fancy your chances at Wrexham Tuesday night now? We've, we're going in with a bit of confidence, you know, two 4-0s, 4-0, 4-1 or whatever, you know, we'll, we're, we're going to go there, but we can't get carried away, you know, it's another game, we've got to go there tight and solid and break them down and be hard to beat and hopefully we'll get the result. Great stuff, we'll play today, John, no, enjoy it, thank you. Thank you. Cheers.